We're here at ASCA 2015 talking about precision genomics. I'm here with Dr. Sharanya Raganoff. Now, Sharani, we've been talking about the sequencing process. Tell me a little bit about the controls you use. In our lab, uh, we recognize that controls are extremely important. Uh, we're currently sequencing using the Illumina MySeq. Um, so we run about six, or we run five patient samples uh, with one control. So we run six samples in a single batch. Now, what's important is we recognize that when you choose your control, you want the right um, age, gender, and ethnicity match to your patient population. However, we are a clinical lab um, and we understand the restrictions around regulations. So what we've done is we have, we validated three control cell lines um, to match the ethnicities we see in our patient population. So we use these three cell lines to rotate our controls in each sequencing run, depending on the patient population. So what is the value for the patient when you're sequencing to use a control? Great question. So uh, there are two very important things uh, that focus around a choosing a good control. Um, the first thing is patient populations are very variable. So when you have a control in a sequencing run, you can actually identify if your assay is meant to do what it's, uh, what's, what it's promising to do. Um, so you expect to see your quality analysis, the bioinformatics quality analysis, to pr be pretty standard and meet the uh, minimum thresholds and go beyond the minimum thresholds with your control sample. The second important thing about using a control is our assay uh, not only identifies all mutation types, but we also are very sensitive and really um, accurate at identifying copy number alterations. Now, copy number alterations are structural changes that occur in, um, that cause amplifications or deletions in the human genome. What a control does is when we have a, uh, when we choose a correct control population, we perform CNV analysis against the controls. So we analyze our patient samples against the control samples to get copy number results. So it's extremely important for both of these reasons to choose the appropriate control and absolutely it's important to have a control sample in your sequencing run. So what does that control mean for our patients? Um, yeah, so having a control is very important and the reason for that is in our lab we uh, we hope and promise to provide the patient with the most comprehensive report. We are patient focused but we are also thinking about the physician and we want to provide both the patient and the physician the most comprehensive report. It's important to compare the patient samples to a control in order to identify copy number changes. These are structural alterations in the genome. Identifying them is extremely important because there are drugs that target these structural changes and we want to be able to provide the patient with the most comprehensive genomic signature so that the physician can treat the patient with the right type of drugs and help patient outcomes. So it sounds like this truly is the most comprehensive test out there. Absolutely, and we pride ourselves in being able to identify all mutation types, and we are extremely sensitive in identifying these copy number alterations.